beautiful people we are back with another video i hope you all are doing amazing and i appreciate you for tuning in of course if you're new welcome my name is lillian and if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscription button and turn on the bell notification so that anytime i upload a new video you will get notified and do well to like this video <laughs> I hope you guys are ready for today's video. Today we are going to Cape Coast to take a look at this prestigious mother of all luxury. The rest schools don't beat me, okay? But this school is it's the perfect definition of luxury, luxury, extravaganza luxury. This is a luxury in all shade. So today we are going back to Cape Coast to take a look at this prestigious holy child high school in ghana so let's go to cape coast and take a look and i will be back as always do it to like all right let's go holy child school also known as angels hill is an all-girls boarding second cycle institution in cape coast in the central region of ghana it was founded by the society of the holy child jesus in the year 1946 to provide education to catholics within the region the current student population stands at over 1,000 girls aged between 14 and 18 years from Holy Child School. Paula Smith from Holy Child. Nani Kwe Wusubano Holy Child School. Fida Oskarim Holy Child School. Victoria Loko Holy Child School. Lula Di Otu Holy Child School. Mirella Ansa Holy Child School. Krista Bonafia Holy Child School. Nana Ma Amwa Holy Child School. So how was today for you guys? How was the experience? <laughs> <laughs> well, in the beginning it was, it was going okay. It was alright. Then as the contest progressed, there were little hitches, technical hitches, <laughs> but then we are going back to our books to go and restructure everything to become better. Yes, we'll come back bigger and better. Yes. With fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what should we expect from you guys at the main competition this year? Oh, in the finals. Just expect us in the finals. Holy child. Facts and non -verba. Actions, not words. While I was doing research about this school, I had a lot of things running through my mind. I'm like, I know a lot of you have said I shouldn't be too expressive about all of this. It's not that simple. I'm talking about when you see something that you wish you have, like you wish you have not for you. I, right now, I'm not going back to school, definitely, inshallah. 
But I'm talking about, like, what about the child of a regular person? So when we see all of this, you wish that you have not for you so that the people that your heart usually goes out to people that are struggling way more than you and when you begin to look at the way how they are going to figure it out in life it scares you you will will express more than me so when I, i express my anger sometimes when i'm emotional it's not because of anything i just wish that we can do same and i'm wondering why can't we do same? I mean, what is the problem? How, what, what is wrong? What, what is the problem? <sighs> I don't want to turn you guys off, okay? Let's go back to the campus and meet the ex-girls. Hey, this school has produced incredible, virtuous women. I won't lie to you. These girls are brilliant. Lawyers, doctors ministers this this hey this school first lady i mean that your doctor might just be from the school ask them so now let's go check out the girls as they come back to give back to their alma mater is going to be. Thank you all for coming and I say be our guest next year. Thank you. self-sufficient world citizens who understand the immediacy of environmental responsibility. With our school motto as our anchor, I believe we will be energized as educators to teach and nurture our young ladies to become effective change leaders we would be proud of. Distinguished guests, on behalf of the Board of Governors, management, staff and students of this great institution, I deem it a privilege and a singular honor to officially welcome you 
to today's celebration. Your presence makes us very happy. Please feel at home. Kindly cooperate with us so together we would have a fruitful and a way to participate in this year's contest. And we pray that it is a good contest. Registered for WASI 2022. The, revo the results reveal um, five A's to eight, eight A's. Uh, the results reveal achieve this success as we congratulate the students for their hard work. Lady Chair, I thought I was done. Little did I know, however, that I would get to return again. And on this occasion, female professor of finance in Ghana for that matter. <laughs> Lady Chair, all these I believe I owe to Holy Child, if you know where I'm coming from. In fact, I believe Holy Child and Commander Prisla Amijokoto, first female commanding officer of a Ghana Navy ship. Joyce Bamford Addo, the first female. <laughs> Holy Child has also groomed other top-notch personalities who are making impact in their respective areas of endeavor. I could go on and on about the products of Holy Child. Girls, for you are being groomed to become trailblazers and change makers in whichever fields you find yourselves in. Indeed, I still remember the voice of Mrs. Alice Maria Ajiman and the late Madame Broby. It says, don't just pass through the school. Let the school pass through you. Because I got about 200 people requesting to be included, you know, I said, it's so tough. So when she said they have to manage the wedding cake, I beg you, those of you who are also Hobsons, you know, staff members, board members, and the rest, if you didn't get your children here, then I definitely want to commend our young ladies for the cultural display. Uh, I was looking at them, display culture in tree, display culture in every display culture and the rest. I was very impressed. I'm sure the young ladies are getting a very all-round sort of uh, holistic education. and I'm a proud Hobson. So as part of the 75th anniversary celebrations, I'm very proud to talk about, first of all, the library project that my year group, Purple Print 92 year group did for Holy Child School. And actually next year is going to be five years since we uh, did the library for the school. So as part of the 75th year anniversary, we are doing a capsule project right and that we're going to open in 25 years time if you can picture me and picture all of us in 25 years time it's going to be very exciting and i'm very happy and proud to have been chosen to you know talk about this project how at the light the bright and morning star in whom we ever live and move and are. Thou art the key to treasures new and old that turns the toil of every day to gold. Hello everyone, and um, my 
my name is Ifia Apia of the 1991 Year Group. And it's my pleasure to be here with an amazing Hobson who we are so very well pleased with, who we are very proud of. And um, I'll leave her to introduce herself. Hi, my name is Professor Nana Abba Apia Amfo. I'm of the 1988 year group, Popsa 88, and a happy anniversary to all of us. <laughs> Yeah, when I see all of this, you know what scares me about my country? It's not my country per country, as in land. What scares me is the mindset of my people. I mean, how can you not want this to happen so that the child of a regular man can benefit? And what people do not know is that education can eradicate all kind of vice in your society. I don't know if you know that. Any nation that educates its citizen is certainly sowing a seed, a seed of progress for itself, not even for the people you are educating. Now, let me tell you a story. Do you know that that child that is not educated, the one that the mother and father do not care about and the government does nothing to help, that child stays there and grow up like that. And you are busy putting in all that you have, sacrificing for your own child and sending that child to school, giving them all the best that you can afford to. Do you know that the child of the other one is not my prayer. Do you know that that child might be the arm robber? They're all going to grow up and we are not going to be here. And who are the arm robbers? I mean, who are the robbers? Some of them can be found among these people that have no, no, no nothing to offer, no social skills, no nothing, because it's not their fault. They didn't, they didn't make themselves. And their parents at some point wanted to do it, but could not afford to. And these children will be left to be. And then they grow up tomorrow. You, you are making sacrifice for your own. So now look at their connection in future, where, who is going to make the environment or safe for your child those ones and this is why i'm very optimistic with the way ghana is going in terms of education with the way the government is investing into the education in ghana in the next 20 years i don't think um there'll be any crime rates in ghana at all except of course those that are created to be wicked otherwise with the way the government is engaging every child through education it's going to be difficult to find a homeless person i'll tell you guys a story let's go and i'll be back let's go back to this amazing school and and check out everywhere and everything and i will be back let's go <music> To the A, to the double There are many times you feel not right Tossing and turning through the night As that day goes by You seem like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness turns to light All the troubles fade away to nothing And it tells me everything's gonna be okay There are many times you feel not right Tossing and turning through the night As the day goes by Seeming like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness sends to light All the troubles fade away to nothing Honey, trust me, everything's gonna be okay Oh, bana mi shenu bala ke dada o de Face. The 
love we share None compares to the one we have in heart The game has just begun It's not too late to win at the end Can you make a cabo and you meet both train and hold on Some days ago, a friend of mine and I actually been putting monies together so we can cook and give it out to people we feel might need it. 
just to make them know we care I mean, just that one meal is fine from our hearts to their stomach, what we wanted. That was all we wanted to do. And then after cooking, we went and we were hunting for people to give this food to in Ghana. In my own part of the city, we're hunting for homeless people, for beggars that we can hand over this food to. I couldn't see. So I know where to go. You know Seko, right? We had to go to Seko. A majority of the people under the bridge in Seko. Do you know they are not Ghanaians? Many of them are not Ghanaians. Okay, this is not me trying to raise any controversy, but do you know that many of them are not Ghanaians? So that was the only place we could find people to give our food to. The seed your government is sowing is gradually paying off. Did I show you guys the library of the school? I didn't show you. Please, let's go and take a look and I'll be back. <music> I am glad that you guys are supporting your government to continue to educate your children because this is them clearing everything that will bring problems in future. Now I'm getting to know you guys. I'm getting to understand you guys day by day and I want to be like you guys. At this point, I want to go back to school and do it the right way. I hope that you guys did enjoy this one and that I will see you in my next one. Bye.